Diego Garcia Island is located in the Indian Ocean and is part of the Chagos Archipelago. It was formerly inhabited by Creole ethnic groups of African descent and native Maldivians. They lived on the island for centuries and had strong ties to their ancestral land. In the late 18th century, the British began to take control of the Chagos Archipelago, including Diego Garcia. During the colonial era, the British used the island as a center for coconut plantations. In the 1960s and 1970s, the governments of the United Kingdom and the United States reached an agreement to clear Diego Garcia Island to establish a military base. The British government forcibly evicted the native inhabitants from the island, citing military and security strategies. The native inhabitants of Diego Garcia lost their homes, which had been inhabited for centuries. They were forced to leave their birthplace, where strong emotional and historical connections were rooted. This eviction also meant losing ownership rights to the land that had been a source of livelihood and heritage for them. The eviction forced them to abandon their way of life and adapt to a different environment or unfamiliar settlements. This led to drastic changes in their way of life and challenges in adjusting to a new life. Additionally, the eviction resulted in the breaking of social and cultural bonds that had been established for generations. Many families were separated, friends were separated, and communities that were once united were forced to part ways in their new settlements. After the eviction of the native inhabitants, the United States established a military base on Diego Garcia Island. This base serves as a strategic location for military and security operations, including being a base for air and naval operations. The eviction of the native inhabitants and the establishment of the military base on Diego Garcia Island sparked protests and controversies on an international level. Many human rights groups and activists protested these actions and advocated for the rights of the native inhabitants to return to their island. The controversy regarding the status of Diego Garcia Island continues to this day. Efforts have been made to reevaluate the decision of forced relocation and acknowledge the rights of the native inhabitants to the island. However, the United States military base still operates on the island to this day. The forced eviction of the native inhabitants on Diego Garcia Island is a tragic example of the negative impact of government policies prioritizing military and strategic objectives over human rights and the sustainability of local culture. The suffering and losses experienced by the native inhabitants should be acknowledged and understood as part of a dark and painful history.